I came to Minnesota from my home state of Washington back in 2011 as part of a discipleship school. That first year that I was here in Minnesota was really a process of God taking away my plans for my future and teaching me to trust in Him, to trust in His plan even though I might not know what it was. So to that extent, when I was coming out of, out of this discipleship school, I didn't know where I was going, what I was doing. There was a friend of mine who suggested that I stay here in Minnesota and you know, more importantly that I try out her church, The Exchange. It was actually the very first night that I came to The Exchange. I just kind of knew that this was where God wanted me to be. I wasn't really sure why, but it just felt right in my heart. And I wasn't really sure what it was that I was expecting from being here. I liked the music, I liked the sermon, I liked the people, but I could say that about a lot of churches I had been to before. A lot of churches that I had been to before also just felt distant. I wasn't really sure what sort of different experience I was expecting from coming here. By this point, I've been going to the exchange for about a year and a half. Over the course of this year and a half, God has really been leading me through a season of waiting, waiting on Him to show me where to go, what He wants to do in my life next. To be honest, in seasons like these, they can just get hard on me. You know, I, I can just fall into these ruts of feeling low. It ended up being in these moments where my spirits were low that I really started to get an understanding of the way that this church treats me like I'm family. And I got to know people through various things like life groups or just spending time at Green Mill or other events. I found that I was forming far deeper church relationships than I think I ever would have hoped before. And these new friends of mine, you know, in these moments where I felt low or desperate, they would just show compassion on me. You know, even small, seemingly unimportant acts of grace and love, like a hug or asking to hear my thoughts, even an open invitation to hang out with them that I could actually take at face, face value. As I've thought about it recently, the exchange has kind of reminded me of a passage from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, when Jesus comes in his glory and he separates the, the sheep and the goats. You know, to the sheep, he says, come you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. He says, I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. And the sheep, they don't know what he's talking about. You know, they say to him, when were you ever thirsty? When were you ever a stranger? And Jesus says, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. In these moments over the past year and a half when I have felt kind of like the least of these, the exchange showed that sort of love and openness that Jesus commended in the Matthew passage. You know, to serve Christ himself in the ways that they have served me. The invitation that they gave to me to come and be a part of who this church is is also an invitation to be as grace-filled and community-focused in my own life, to do to others the same sort of things that the exchange has done for me. My name is PJ Teasdale, and this is my exchange. You are